So now we will see how to convert decimal into other bases using floating point numbers. So first of all we will see how to convert decimal into binary. So as we previously mentioned that the procedure of conversion of decimal into binary using whole numbers is totally different from the procedure of floating point numbers. So we will use a different procedure in this example in which we are going to convert a decimal into binary using a floating point number. So we will look at the example and by looking at the animation I will make you understand how we are following the procedure and then you can understand it. So first of all we are given with the number 0.625 in decimal and we have to convert it into binary. So we will take the number 0.625 and we will multiply it with 2. Why 2? Because we have to convert it into binary and binary has the base 2. So we will multiply the number with 2. So now we get the answer 1.25. Once we get the answer then we will write the integer part here and the fractional part here. So integer part is 1 so we write 1 here and fractional part is 0.25. So we write 0.25 here and now we will check is the fractional part is equal to 0 and if the fractional part is equal to 0 we will stop the procedure. Alright so here as we can see that the fractional part is not equal to 0 so we will take this part 0.25 and again multiply it with 2 and we get the answer 0.5. Now here the integer part is 0 and the fractional part is 0.5. Is the fractional part is equal to 0? No, the fractional part is not equal to 0. So again we will take this 0.25 and multiply it with 2. After multiplying 0.5 with 2, we get the answer 1.0. So we write 1 here and we will write 0 in the fractional part. So again we will check is the fractional part is equal to 0? Yes, the fractional part is equal to 0. So now when the fractional part is equal to 0, so we will stop the procedure. And we will calculate the answer by going from top to bottom of the integer part. Understand? So in this way we will do it. And we can say that the answer is 0 0.101. As you can say point. 1 0 1 we are going from top to bottom and we are calculating the answer 0 0.101 the decimal point will maintain its position that is towards the leftmost side of the number so decimal point come here and then we have the number 101 so this is how we calculate the answer so now the number 0.625 in decimal is equal to 0 0.101 in binary this is how we can convert decimal into binary using floating point numbers.